Hey everybody, this is Leo and welcome to the quick tutorial on how to create alphas from clouds. Now I'll be using the cloud pack that I've just released. If you haven't got the cloud pack, there's the sample pack with uh, a bunch of free assets that you can download right now. So I would say do that. Now I'm going to be using the 400 asset pack. I'm just going to grab one of these and throw it into Photoshop. Now these are raw files, so you will be first presented by a camera raw window. But we're not going to be worrying about that. Just open the image, double click to create a new layer. And now how are we going to create an alpha from this so that you can use it for your compositing or whatever you really want it for. First of all, we're going to come up here to the channels tab next to the layers. You will see we have the RGB, which is what we're looking at. And then we have the red, green, and blue channels. Now the blue channel is the one that's least contrasty right now because we're shooting the blue sky with the cloud. The red channel is really what we have to be looking at. So we're going to click hold and drag down here onto this new layer icon. Now we've created a copy up here, image adjustments levels. Now look at this. Once we start dragging the shadow slider to the right, we're really creating a very nice definition between the clouds and the background. By sliding this slider to the left, we're increasing the highlights. And what we're going to be working with is an alpha mask that's using a uh, Luma style technique. We're essentially saying that white is going to be 100% opacity and black is going to be 0% opacity. And that way we're going to be able to have a very clean cutout of the clouds that still has some translucency to it. But there's something important I need to show you. If we zoom in over here, you can see that the clouds are kind of losing their definition around the edges. Now we don't want that. To create a nice composite, you do want to have a smooth fall off. So we're going to push this shadow slider a bit further to the left. Now there is this dark patch over here and we can fix that by using the midtone slider. Here we go. That's looking very nice. Hit OK. And there you go. Now before we continue, I do want to say that the cloud pack consists of many different assets and each of them has a different level of brightness in the background. This technique, however, works with any of these clouds. You'll just have to adjust the sliders accordingly to your image. Now we're hovering over the red copy, hold command, click, and we're creating a selection of what we've just been Luma masking. Hit RGB back to layers and now there are two ways to do this alpha the first one is the quick and rough one command j and then we've created a copy a simple cutout from what we've just selected this is incredibly handy if you're just wanting to make a quick file and then save as and then you make a png with an alpha and then you throw it in some composite and you're good now most of the times what you want is to have a bit more control over the situation. Back to this layer, channels, red copy, command, click for the selection. Hit the RGB, back to layers. And now we're going to go down here and press this button. And we're going to create an alpha mask. Essentially, this did exactly the same. But there's one very powerful thing we can do now. Just created a little background so that we can see what we're doing. Press the alpha mask, image adjustment, and then let's do a curves adjustment. And now we're working non-destructively. So we can bump up the shadows over here in the curves adjustment, and we can add back in some more information. We can lower the highlights. We can bump the highlights in different areas we can then still make a lot of adjustments to the actual cloud image. And there you go. That's how you create a alpha of a cloud in Photoshop. 
I guess that's the best I can do in under 5 minutes. If you want to add the alpha mask into an After Effects composition, just drag the whole Photoshop file in there and that's it. That works perfectly great. Because of dynamic link, you can even make some adjustments to your alpha in Photoshop and then resave it and it updates automatically. So thanks for watching. I hope this helps. If you do make something with the cloud pack, please do either tag me on Instagram at blaufilmsco or uh, send me an email, uh, blaufilms at gmail.com. I would love to see what you guys are doing. Um, I really hope this cloud pack is valuable to someone. So uh, hit me up. Cheers.